we accept the concept of a string. <laughs> that word has nothing to do with what it is, but it's yeah. because it was called that in C, and I'm pretty sure it was probably called that in a language before that. And so many languages are descendants of C that yeah. it's just like, oh, it's a string. Call it a string. So then you'll hear the term substring. <laughs> yeah. The term string is is kind of odd, again, if you're not from programming, right? In Python, there's technically no such thing as a character. Because yeah. a character itself is a string, whereas in other programming languages, there is a distinction between a character and a string. NumPy's got its own data types, and the data yeah. types map to C. A NumPy integer data type has a maximum value. Right. Integers in Python do not. And for most work, that doesn't matter. But if you start having to swap one for the other and you're dealing with very large numbers, then things are going to fall over, right? So. Yeah. And yet we still just refer to them all as integers, right? Like the, the language is looser than I think a lot of people think it is. 